a second stop. Accuary. Quonset on a stem wall. That's over there. I think you did. Um, we made a good choice. We will be visiting uh, the Lake Viva. And on the way there, though, we will stop at one of the main attractions of sorts in northern Iceland, which uh, most visitors do see, which is the waterfall of the gods because it is quite close to the city of Akureyri. From there, we'll drive on towards the lake of Miva. And Miva is often uh, described as uh, a must-see destination in the world. And uh, rightly so, because the lake, or I should rather say its uh, surroundings, are something you cannot miss. It's a very good example of um, Volcanic activity and how the volcanic activity sort of dominates the Icelandic nature as a whole. And around the lake of Niva, we will do a total of three stops today. So with the waterfall and the three stops at Niva, we'll have four stops total. Apart from the last one, which of course uh, should be the port here behind us. Now, it is often called the capital of the north. Why? Because it is by far the largest Icelandic city outside of the southwest corner of the country, which is dominated by the uh, capital area around uh, Reykjavik. But Akureyri is the biggest uh, population center outside of that area, by a stretch, by the way. But uh, by all international standards, Akureyri is but a tiny town. It has a population of only 20,000 people which, again, for Icelandic standards, is huge, but compared to the rest of the world, Europe or the United States, for example, it would be quite a tiny place. But we take great pride in our beautiful town. Right ahead of us now lies the center of the city, very easily uh, reachable from the port. And if you look towards the left, you can see a landmark building. This is called Hof. It's a culture center. It's, for example, home to the largest concert hall in Northern Iceland and also the Symphony of Akureyri. And one thing I must point out now are the traffic lights. You can see one if you look to the left now, the one we're driving by. The red light has the shape of a heart. This is the case with all red traffic lights in Akureyri. People love taking photos of themselves with the traffic lights. And uh, because of that, we've set up a special traffic light that's constantly red. You can see it here on the left-hand side, behind the little trees. On the left, it's rather short. This traffic light is the selfie traffic light. So if you want to take a photo afterwards, please go there. And you can see some lovely red lights right here ahead of us now, too. All right, please support the artists uh, by their artwork. And now, on the right hand side, the first theater built in Akureyri in 1906 is the year of its construction. And right next to it, there's a building with a red roof. This used to be an elementary school before. Now it houses offices. My grandfather used to go to uh, school there. It was built there very conveniently, in between sort of two main neighborhoods that Akureyri had in the years before. One being in the port area, or rather, in between the port area and the center, we just drove by it. The other part is older because it's home to the oldest buildings in the city. Right now, on the right hand side, there's a black house on the right. This is the oldest standing building in Akureyri. Not the first one that was built, but the oldest one standing. It's called Lextalsus. It was built 1795. And this neighborhood here on the right, the old town, is well used to be a very popular place to live and it still is to this day but now everybody we go over to the 
east side of the fjord. It gets a lovely view over Akureyri on the left. And if you pay very close attention, look towards the left, you can see that the cruise ships are there by the port. And then if you look a little bit further to the right, towards the mountain, you should be able to see a tiny waterfall. Can you see it? Yeah. And then a little bit above the waterfall, there's a red semicircle in the mountain. This waterfall and the red semicircle, they share history. See, the red semicircle is the entrance to a tunnel that goes through this mountain here that's ahead of us. mountain that's here on the right hand side of us to get to our first destination which is the Guadalajara waterfall. The waterfall also some farm animals. Very good examples of that now on the left hand side. There's plenty of sheep. Also in the distance we can see some cows. Well, very nice. Sheep. He needs help to collect all of his sheep. But it's not easy. And other plants that they can find. Most of them. But long ago, these are the remnants of it. All right. Not a typical occurrence, but it shows you why. At Stella Place, you are allowed to eat more sweet still today. Now, I must point out this late plan of this decision. The chieftain was called Forger Leos Vetningatuade, which means Forger the, the chieftain of the Bright Lake. That's the name of this lake here. It's called Leosavach in Icelandic, which we can translate to the clear or the bright
spot, nice one. WC. where the steam escapes to the surface and re then repeated explosions rip apart the lava which piles up around the steam vent forming a pseudo crater. These are not volcano 